All right, we're gonna be gathering in the red zone. Let's see how many PK there are. Okay, that guy is just flying. Faction. Look at the faction flag. Thank God I didn't come at faction. Nah, in reality I don't care if they camp. You can go around, by the way. This guy is... Uh, they have a scout here. So that's one thing when you have... When you are... In the red zone. If you, you don't take these tunnels, you go around. Okay, there is PK here. Very likely I'm gonna get... Targeted as soon as they see me. <clears throat> oh, the king of PK. That's fine. I'm gonna be gathering tier 6 uh, wood. And all the tier 5 and tier 6 ore I find. This is not a good time to be gathering up there, by the way. Uh, this guy's gonna be a pain in the ass. The reason why I'm not gathering in the black zone is because of the. Uh, I don't wanna lose my home. Which is R2 rest. If I use a realm, uh, realm gate, I'm gonna be losing my my hum. <clears throat> See, it was a good idea to not go on faction flag. I don't really care about the points anyway. I do well. I just need to go to do bandits, and I'm gonna get more points than what I can spend. Um, They baiting with the chest? Oh, he means. I'm gonna get more points. If I want points, I need to do bandits. <clears throat> I can escape with this set. Like, it's actually not super easy to kill me. If it's a group of two. Or even one high spec player or blood leather for example. High spec blood leather could kill me very easily. That shit is broken. Um no. I'm gonna get the enhance tier four. Those pickets are gonna be close to the chest for um, for the, the time being. That guy is transporting. Oh, these are. Nice. If I get dismounted, where the fuck do I run? I think I should run back to the tunnel since I'm here. Uh, because there's there's a what was it three P, three T fort players with high spec. Those guys will would help me. Uh, do I use points? Uh, no. I think I should not use points on that. Oh yeah, the reason why I'm doing this is because I'm gonna be moving some uh, I'm 
gonna move I'm gonna be moving some stone I mean some ore to force telling to refine <clears throat> so uh, I, I need to be careful there because if they are not faction flag they are gonna turn into fossils aka red players and they are gonna hurt me 100% I am tier 8 and I'm not using tier 8 gathering said if you guys know this there is a reason for that look at what this is what I was talking about you don't come faction flag you turn everybody turns into hostile to you you want to turn, you want to be faction flag actually. This guy's gonna flag and kill me when I go out of his sight. Oh, it's a PK. You see it from the icon they have on the, on the side of their names. Now they saw me, they're gonna haunt me. Um, gathering. Let's see. Yeah. I'm gonna check this area. Then I move, move around here. Then here, here, and then go Ronald Sing and Garofel. But I'm very likely gonna get uh gonna be spotted by uh the scout. And then there's a chance I'm gonna be killed near the when I try to zone when I try to zone away is this ah I told you about what I didn't get in there book It's gonna be uh, too much time investment into <clears throat> the red zone is good when you have high spec, but other than that, no. This is my last day chilling, doing nothing. I was thinking about recording a video for Albion. There is many topics which you can talk about. There are uh, of some relevance. No. Oh, it's gonna. Shit. Come on, man. Ah. So fucking annoying. I hate the. That's fucking stone mobs. So annoying. Look, it, it, it's filled of them everywhere. They're in tier, shitty tier 5. Like, pretty pointless to kill them, honestly. Oh, nice. For the moment I don't really, I'm not really uh, crafting tier 6, I mean weapons that require tier 6 or I could craft more battle axes but I don't, I don't like the current battle axe. I mean it's fine but if you use a uh, pork pie, I mean pork pie. A roast pork. Uh, yeah, a roast pork. There, level 60, that's not bad. But yeah, if I want to gather tier 5 specifically, it's better to go to the black zone. What the fuck is all you doing? For a moment, I thought he was gonna attack me. 
but he's not his faction flag. You can see you can see when they are hostile just by the icon on their heads. So that's why I thought it was weird. Okay, this guy is not flat. This is one of those guys that probably see you and then uh flag as hostile. Log R. Oh, nice. <clears throat> but this, the red zone is not terrible together. You're lucky you're gonna find a lot of tier 6, well, a lot of tier 5 enhanced, and quite a few of uh, tier 6 from flat to 6.1. It's pretty hard to find 6.2 and 6.3. Okay, he's mounted. Okay. The good thing about gathering around this area is because it's most of the far flag players are gonna be players that can attack me. Hmm. The best thing you can do is to gather around these thing these areas. Oh nice. I want I want 5.1. 5.2 and 5.3 if possible. 5.2 is okay. I want a lot of 5.2 so I can uh boost my uh, my bow crafting. He's gonna aggro. Yeah, piece of shit. Okay. And the cool thing about this is that I can go into the Road of Avalon as well. And since I'm already into the full loot zone, well, medium loot zone, because this is the red zone. Oh, it's, it still has me. Uh, it's fine. Um, I already was here, right? I guess I can take some of this. So I shouldn't take the five, the four point one. Four point two, on the other hand, is pretty, pretty, pretty good. Super good. Faction flag. Mm. They work at four point three around here. I need to check it in like two or three minutes more. I think there is more people fame farming than gathering here at this moment, which is good for me. Look, look what I told you. There is not a lot of tier six, even though tier six should be, there should be a lot of tier six. Tier six is not a super uncommon thing to find. Mm. 
Like I'm falling a lot of tier six wood as well. Let me check here. I guess. Pay attention to the surroundings. To spot the people looking for praise. Oh, why? Worst, worst case, I get five pieces, but that's not the case anymore. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm just kind of like the... Um, Hopefully I can get, uh, I don't know, 200 pieces of tier 6 wood, that will be cool. Viper 1 is welcome, very welcome. I think that's still, well that makes you some, some cash, nothing insane but you refine it, of course. Uh, I saw 5.2 here. Hopefully with many stacks. Thank you. I wanna get... Uh, one hundred tier, uh, t I was gonna say tier one hundred. Um, full, yeah, should be one stack at least. The second, the next stack should be spawning soon. I didn't time it, so mm, could take. I guess I can take a look into the rest of that area and then go back. Not bad, so far. As long as I don't die, then it should be cool. And if I don't want to die, I just, wanna, I just gotta be careful. There's another PK in the area. So my best bet would be to go here. Because this area is usually camped by PK. Not as bad as a garrow fell. But it's camped. And it is fucking annoying. Um look. Oh, it was a PK. The one that died, I think. Or he killed a person that was trying to go into the. Into the. That was trying to zone out. He killed him. But. Uh, he zoned. Yeah, that's probably what happened. He zoned into the. Into the tunnel. Because when you kill the person that, when you kill a person, you lose you lose the uh, combat thingy. Unless you attack a second person. Combat mode. Is what I should say. This is why it's important to be close to the outpost. Because on this number, they're hardly gonna die to you. They are hardly gonna die here. Yeah. Unless they have really high IP, because in that case you can tank. You can tank the champion for a bit.
Hmm. Hmm. They're trying to dive somebody there. Or Bridge Watch is here. Oh no, never mind. I was looking at the wrong map. No, they are diving somebody. Tier six, not not the greatest. Tier six yields. At least I got this. It's not insane value right now, but they kill person here. Ronald Singh has the better uh has better resources, so very low. From wood to stone to <clears throat> I do I would say that it's not worth to come to the red zone together unless you are unless you are tier eight and you know what you know how to deal with uh, annoying gankers. Some pe are the hostile people are so close to me. Okay, if I get dismounted, I need to run into the into the champion. This is why it's important when you go into the red zone, you should go, you should not go faction flag, so you can take advantage of the champions, because even the you can even find protection even by the uh, Carleon by the Carleon champion which will come in handy so that's all right oh titanium titanium no these guys are gonna faction flag this guy's not flagged. He's gonna uh, move away from the screen and then flag. I'm gonna I'm gonna see if he's gonna do that. Where are you? Can't see it anymore. And his weapon is so annoying. The verbals. That should really good for ganking it's expensive but if you know how to play it and you have high spec on it you can you get a 5.2 or a 4.3 i think 4.3 is better if you can you have high spec and then with that you you clap some gatherers <clears throat> Ooh, 6.1 and 4 stacks What's that sound? I wasn't even paying attention to these guys. I mean, it's not like they're gonna, they can kill me here. And that guy had no stun. I need to move down here. Oh, nice. They, yeah, unless they have a, they, they cannot catch me unless they have the, unless they, they purge my fucking boots.
So I'm kind of safe, even if I get dismounted. That guy died. I didn't show the. I didn't pay attention to the name of the guy that was on the horse. But if he was on a T3 horse, that shit is not gonna save you at all. If you're fuck, if you're doing fame farming, you should always ride a fucking armor horse. Even if you have some, unless you have a really cheap set, like a 30k set. Uh. I can go into the... If I get dismounted, I can go into this group dungeon to save time. But I need to run into the mobs or something. In that case, you're kind of suiciding unless you... Unless there is only one ganker. Because they, they will know that... Uh, you have to either get knocked down by the mobs or go to the surface and in the surface you're gonna be unable to use any fucking abilities for a while I want this I'm gonna risk it a bit there is a trick for the uh, for changing your for swapping your abilities You mount up, you do it here, and then voila, you are good to go. This only works when your mount doesn't have any abilities. Um, if your mount has an ability that can be casted, it will go on cooldown, and you cannot trick the system into giving you no cooldown swaps. So this trick only works because SVI messed up the calling of the mounts that have no abilities. Look at this. 10 seconds. That's the, 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 thing, the same thing happens when you are mounted and your mount has an ability that can be casted. So, yeah, that's a trick for, for the lads. Oh, that blob. Oh, uh, 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 that's 5.1, that's cool. That's the roads as well. You find a lot of 5.1 in the tier 6 maps, tier 7, etc. Probably a bunch of uh, faction flag players from Defort, most likely. So really you you gonna run you wanna run into them if it is hostile people around, because those guys are gonna help you. Ooh, that looks nice. I wouldn't risk killing it, by the way. Okay, yeah, they're killing the, they're fighting with the hostile people, likely. <clears throat> nice. Nice.
Told you. It was a T4 blob, and they're driving off the coast line, which is good. I think uh, blob the blob. Okay. That's a faction flag. Faction flag player for my luck. Kinda popping, dude. Yeah, they're fighting here. Yeah. The hostiles versus the T4 players or something. It's been 30 minutes only. I didn't notice, but my pie ran out. I need to make it a suggestion that the notifications should be up here. Because you some when you're gathering it's hard to notice it. When you're paying attention to the surrounding map and then you see the the info about the gathering you and etc. Okay, this part is is kinda this section is kinda the most dangerous one for gathering in the in this particular map. There is no outpost, and there is gonna be hardly any place to run. But since the hostile players are most likely easy with dealing with the faction players, I guess I can make an exception. I think I can get my back close to 100% here. So I don't have to go to run anything. That's cool. Okay, there's a gallery nearby. Yeah. I think I should move. The way I, I, yeah, definitely move away from this part. It's da not only dangerous, but there is nothing to gather. Flat tier 5 is not worth the, the time in this particular map. If I was in the yellow zone, then of course it's worth taking. Because in the yellow zone, you're gonna have a mount that can carry a lot of weight. So it doesn't matter, you, ga you gather everything. Everything that has some value, except except tier five and tier four stone, of course. But I like I said, everything of value. And sadly, those things don't have any value, unless you're ga you're gathering it and crafting it for your island, right? In that case, then 
by all means do it. It's not bad because you can you refine you need to refine a lot of materials to get to unlock tier seven and tier eight. And if you gather those, it's profitable to to do it. Tier seven and tier eight. For stone gathering, you're gonna you wanna focus minimum tier six if you're specking up uh, stone gathering. Even though gathering tier five is faster, if you're in the black zone, you focus on gathering all the enhanced. I mean, enhanced. Yeah, and enchanted tier five stone and all the tier six stone. Holy shit! Big collapse. The hostiles are winning. Sadly. That look nasty, dude. Another thing about it, there was a... In this tunnel, there was like a... I saw a Tefort with a Camlan. <clears throat> So I probably do did a combo and then fuck them up. I kinda wanna see who's fighting. Yeah, they, they're fucking up the hostile players now. Here. Some people die here. Loot them. Oh, look at this! I got a little bit more than seventeen hundred k already in thirty-eight minutes in the red zone. That's not bad at all. Oh, it was a Marlock block. That's really rare. They die around here, I think. I wasn't paying attention to the... Oh, nice. Look at that, tier 6. Usually don't want to gather here because uh, because it's pretty easy to get caught by gankers. But it was like right now they are kind of screwed anyway. So I guess I should go. I should gather near this area now because I'm almost full rock. No point in going to Ronald Singh with this bug. This is not terrible because I need to get, uh, I want to get ore refining to, well, tier 5, I want to get it to 100. Now, I already have uh, tier 5 wood refining. And it's not it's not terrible to buy tier five five point three locks and then refine them with focus. It's not bad if you're gonna craft something with that uh, with those planks, but for buying and sell and then reselling the buying the locks, refining them into planks and then selling the planks is not super profitable, sadly. But on the other hand, this is really profitable. And it's good if you want to craft, if you want to spec up your... Uh, the wood is really good if you want to spec up your... Uh, for example, your bow crafting. Because you refine it, you refine the planks at force tailing and then move them to limkers. And at limkers you, you craft a lot of... Uh, a lot of bows. 
you got a research which bows sell easier. And if I had to guess, it's probably the regular bow. I craft long bows because that's for CVC purposes. Since I'm okay, bridge was here. Now this map is a, is a lot safer now. If a hostile player starts to follow me, I can just run into the bridge watch and that's gonna be very good. Oh yeah, if you're, if you're planning to gather in the red zone, don't gather in this area. It's, pro it's one of the worst areas on the map. Uh, if I get ganked right now, you're gonna see why. You are going to see why. If you want to spec up stone, don't do it in the red zone, do it in the black zone. Tier 5 maps. Tier 5 maps are somewhat safe. Please don't aggro. Bam, bam, bam. What is the next one? Oh yeah, I, sh I could make a guide about how to gather in the red zone and in the black zone. But yeah. Pretty much you don't want to gather in the red zone, unless you have tier A2 and you know you already experienced about how to gather in the uh, full loot zones. The red zone is usually way more dangerous than black zone. Than the black zone equivalent map, I should say. I would rather risk it in the Gathering in the black zone tier six, tier five and tier six maps, and gathering in the tier six maps in the red zone. Those these maps are so shit. Wait a moment. Oh, that's so far away from me. Let's see if I can make it. It has tier this stack, so. Nah, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go straight to it. There's a chance nobody is gathering it, and. Bridge watch is gonna be super close to it. That's 200 points, right? 209. I got unlucky that it didn't spawn closer to me, but it's fine. Thankfully, there is a the bridge watch blob, so I'm gonna be able to do it. I gather it and then I go back to Marlock. Oh, the faction flag. Huh. No wonder he ran away. I got lucky. See, another reason why you should gather in the red zone. Well, if you gather in the red zone, you should do it on flag. Don't faction flag unless you really want to risk it. Oh, they're moving to... They're not getting this? Oh, well, that's a shame. You only need to capture two of them to... Con to uh 
to capture the, the whole zone. That's good. Well, I'm out of journal, so I'm gonna run back to Marlock. That's almost a million in less than 15 minutes. Holy shit. I thought it was gonna be. Uh, it was gonna take me longer to fill the seven journals, so that's why I only brought seven. But next time I will bring uh, eight. Eight of them. Eight should be enough. If I'm gathering both wood and, and ore. The hostile players are gonna start showing up now. But I'm not flak, so it doesn't matter. I can run into the outpost. If they attack me. Okay, let's see if there's, an, if there's still, there is another, uh, there is more tier six. Tier 6, tier 4.1, I'm tier 4.3, oh there is not, it changed into 4.1, not the end of the world, I'm still taking it, now it's time to go back to Marlock, <clears throat> let's see if I can bring it home, and that soccer player, Let's see if he's still following me. Okay, he went away. Oh, he's going to the chest now. Yeah, they're gonna come to chest. That's good for me. There was some tier 6 wood around here, if I remember correctly. Should be up now. I didn't even feel any uh, fucking journal. That's crazy. I didn't find that many in guns stuff. Well, you do it at your own risk, but I wouldn't gather here on the fucking arc. You're so f easy to to hunt. Gankers in this map are not gonna be using super fast mounts, so even with that, they can catch up to you with a T3 hold when you're riding a, an ox. Unless it's a tier 8 ox. Tier 7, tier 8, tier 8 ox can get away from a tier 3 hold because the same speed. They have the same speed at Gallop and they are tanky as hell, so yeah, I think it's time to go back. I don't have Jordan, so it, it, I'm gonna be losing money. Okay, there is no hostile players in the tunnel. Usually, you wanna go around unless there is a there is a uh, what's it called? Oh, unless there is a scout, right? Then you know you should not go there. Look, all these guys are not flat. They are gonna be. They are gonna turn to hostile, most likely. So when you move into this map, you have to you go here, take this here, or this. Gankers are usually on this area here. They can see you before you see them, and they will turn invisible, and they will CC lock you, and you're gonna be dead. You're most likely not gonna be able to run away from them. Mm. 
Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna make a I'm gonna make a guy of how to gather. That was very good, honestly. I thought it was, uh, I didn't even have to move to Ronald thing to, to get this. I could have do, could have done that to get more wood, but this is all right. I couldn't make uh, reach the goal of 200, 200 tier six lock though. That's a shame, but that's all right. Yeah, let me. I'm gonna think about it. Uh, I'm gonna think about tips for the red zone and black zone, which is better for you, and etc. I can also make a guide about gathering since I am uh, tier 8 on everything. Fiber. War, uh, Skinner, Lumberjack, Warrior, or whatever it's called. And I'm also tier 8 on fishing. Fishing is actually the first thing I got to tier 8. Oh yeah, no, no, don't need to gather anymore. What's my... Uh, I still have time. I could try, since I already paid for this set... This I already paid for itself. I can go back to the redstone and then go to Ronin Sing. So the road will be uh, tunnel into Volskel, then tunnel into Ronin Sing. Here you should gather close to this outpost. <clears throat> Fuck yeah. And this map is probably the worst one to gather at. Because you're going to have campers here. Uh, with a scout. Maybe here and here. So this is definitely one of the worst worst maps to, to gather at. For the red zone. I say, I say that from experience. I used to... Before I joined, before I joined Arch. I used to gather in the red zone. So, I got around 980k from the red zone in around 50 minutes, which is really good. No point in repairing my gear because it's still good enough durability wise. Don't repair your tools unless you're gonna be doing a long gathering session and they are close to 60% you don't want to fit them to the to the gankers with uh, with full durability even though you they lose durability when you get killed so yeah from here I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is <clears throat> just sell the journals Sell this. The difference is somewhat decent. Seven, you sell seven, eighty-four thousand. You put them here with one discount. It's a lot of money. There, these are gonna be sold. These are gonna sell anyway, so it's fine. You list them. They sell for more. Don't buy tier five journals unless you're unless you you have tier five spec. If you're gathering the red zone, take this, even if it takes longer to, to fill. I brought this, I brought three in case I found a lot of tier six. Or I found, a, you know, a, a stack of tier three. In that case, you're gonna fill a journal pretty easily because it's gonna be 
enhanced tier 6.1 or 6.2 maybe if you're super lucky you're gonna find a rare 6.3 but I'm not sure if they change that spawn um, but yeah all of this I'm gonna refine all of it even this thing I'm grateful I found this, 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 and this. This was really good. Decent, decent. But it's fine. Yeah, I made like four point, no, not four point. I made like 950k. Around 950k in under 50 minutes gathering wood and ore in the red zone. It was somewhat safe, so it's cool. <clears throat> I don't think. Uh, should I go to the? Mm. I wanna, I'm gonna craft some tier 5 bear bows, some tier 4 as well, if I get all the materials for this, <clears throat> and yeah. Oh, I got some 6.1, that's cool. For now, I would like to get more tier 6 wood, any tier 6. I'm gonna craft a 6.3 bear pulse later because I'm gonna refine a lot of tiers. Tier 6.3 wood with focus. This is Mac. This is pretty close to Mac. And then this is gonna be the target after. So, yeah. <clears throat> Uh, well, that's it. I need to think about what I'm gonna... Oh, let me check my... Uh, my box in... Defort. I have... Almost nothing there. Oh, yeah, it's fine, it's fine. I can bring... I don't need to bring any enhanced tier, tier 4.1. I think I have some 4.1 here, 4.2, oh it's only 4.3, okay that's cool. It's only gonna bring this, and... That one. This. Mm. And the other box I need to check is the four sterling box. I have some, I have my 4.1 and 4.2 here. So only bring the 5.x stuff here. Pretty cool. <clears throat> That's fine. Mm. How close am I to be able to craft? Oh yeah, I should end this here. Uh, well, yeah. Sorry for making this longer than necessary. I might cut it, I might not cut it, etc. Um, yeah. A like and subscription will be greatly appreciated if you enjoy the video. I'm gonna make, I'm gonna be making guides about how to how I, how you can improve in this game, doing gathering and some other stuff. So yeah, see you guys later.